Hello everybody, I would like to do a video on my 2004 Red Sox yearbook. It's been a while since I've done a review on these yearbooks and I've been wanting to get back to them for a while, so so I'm going to start getting back to them this week. But anyways, as you can see, this is where the yearbooks start getting bigger because at one point they got they were small, then got bigger, and now they're back to being small. And of course, as you can see on the cover, it shows majority of the players that were on the 2004 Red Sox. And for many years, there's more of them right here, so I can't recognize all of them. And this just opens up in a flap like some of mine do. This is the 2004 Red Sox schedule. Now we can go to the players. Alright, we got Terry Francona, the manager, which he used to be our manager. Now he's the manager for the for the Guardians. And he previously managed the Phillies from 1997 to 2000. And then he came to the Red Sox in 2000, 2003. Yeah, because Grady, Grady Little was fired. Got our coaches right there. Nothing special. I'm not going to go into them. Right. Now we're on to the players. You got Pedro Martinez, which which almost every yearbook has the facts about them. Pedro Martinez fin has finished first or second in the league in ERA in his last seven years. Got no more Garcia Parra. Which, if you want to pop, which um, you can pause to take a look at the facts that I'm showing. I'm not going to read all of them because not all of them are special. So yeah, Got Kurt Schilling. Manny Ramirez. And also, I forgot to mention this, but um. This will be this video will be split into two or three parts just because of how long this yearbook is. Cause um because if the yearbook's big when I do these review videos, um they will be split into two or more parts. But if it's a smaller yearbook like um the first three I did from two thousand which are two thousand, two thousand one and two thousand two, then it can then I can just do it all in one video. So just want to make, just want to give a little disclaimer as to why some of these yearbook videos are split into parts. It's because the longer the yearbooks are, the longer the video. So yeah. Anyways, on to the next player, which is Tim Wakefield. Which Tim Wakefield was, he was an act, he was an active player with the longest continuous Red Sox service. Because I mean, he was on the Red Sox for like a long time. In fact, 2004 was his tenth season, tenth season with the Red Sox. Alright, Jason Baratek, the captain. He was honored in 2003 as a selection to his first American League All-Star team. Let's see who else? Yeah, Tron Nixon. In 2004, Trot Nixon was the longest tenured member of the Red Sox organization since 1993. Who's the next player? Derek Lowe. Which he had a total of 38 wins in 2002 and 2003. Second most in the MLV. Keith Folk. Which he was our closer, if you remember him. Derek Lowe was one of the starters in our rotation during the World Series. So was um, Tim Wakefield, Pedro Martinez, and um, Kurt Schilling. And I don't remember who the f I don't remember who our fifth starter was, but um, I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look it up on my phone. I'm gonna look up on my phone the um, 2004 Red Sox roster because I don't know who our fifth starter was. But I'm gonna look that up right now. Okay, 
So our rotation in 2004 was, let's see. It was Kurt Schilling, Pedro Martinez, Tim Wakefield, Derek Lowe, and Bronze on Arroyo. Oh, wow. I actually, for, I actually forgot Bronze on Arroyo was in our rotation. Because he wasn't in our rotation until 2003. Because he only played three seasons for us. And I know Keith Folk was a closer. Because he closed out Game 4 of the 2004 World Series. He closed it out. David Ortiz, a.k.a. Big Poppy, which David Ortiz this summer will be going in the Hall of Fame. And he's one of the greatest Red Sox players of all time. And here's a fun fact. David Ortiz was fifth in the American League MVP voting and named baseball's outstanding DH in 2003. Bill Mueller. And a fun fact about him, he hit grand slams from both sides of the plate on July 29, 2003. A first in M Major League history. Hmm, interesting. Let's see who else we got. Johnny Damon, who had the caveman hairstyle, of course. The caveman. Or the mullet, as he, the mullet, as he called it. The mullet. And I don't know if you notice over here, but it gives some facts about them in the corner, which I know. Sorry if you have a hard time seeing it, it's because it's in this corner right there. So who's next? Kevin Miller. Ellis Burks. Pokey Reese, remember him. It's definitely one of the best players we had. Mike Timlin, definitely remember him. He definitely had some white hair because he was getting old at this point. And here's a fun fact. Mike Timlin recorded the last out in the for the Blue Jays in the 1992 World Series. I gotta look up how many World Series rings he's won with us. One in baseball. Because I didn't know until now that he won a World Series ring with the Blue Jays in 1992. Oh, wait. Mike Timlin actually won, um, believe it or not, Mike Timlin won four World Series rings. He won two with the Blue Jays in 1992 and 1993, then two with the Red Sox in. 2004 and 2007. Bayung, Hyun Kim, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. I'm not really familiar with most of the Japanese players in the league. In fact, the only Japanese players I'm familiar with are that are or were in the league are Daisuke Matsuzaka, Junichi Tozawa, um, who else? Koji Uehara, Tezu Wailen, and then, um, Hiro Kazu Sawamura, I'm sorry if I pronounced that name wrong. And then Kurt Suzuki and Shohei Otani and Hideki Okajima. And then Hideki Matsu. I mean, those are the ones I'm familiar, familiar with. All the big names. I don't even remember this guy. Oop. Did I miss a player? Oh, yeah. Doug Mirabelli. To I totally remember him. He was a backup catcher. Totally remember him. The cool part about these yearbooks is the player's autographs. Like right here where I'm pointing. I'm sorry if my shadow I'm sorry if my shadow's in the way, but just wanted to show you where that autograph is. Advertisement, nothing special. Alan Embry. His postseason pitching appearance in two thousand three marked his fifth since 1995. Yeah, Alan Embry, he was one of, he was one, I remember him, he was one of the relievers for the Red Sox. He was one of our relievers. And so was Scott Williamson, which speaking of, here he is. He was one of our relievers during the 2004 World Series. 
and he recorded a save in each of his three wins in the 2003 ALCS against the Yankees. Okay, who's next? Gabe Kapler. Which I don't think I remember him, but I've heard the name, but I don't really remember him. I mean, most of the players I don't really remember on the Red Sox during like the early 2000s. I remember some of them, which Big Poppy's one of them. I remember who our starters were in the rotation. I remember our closer. Same with our catcher and the infielders and outfielders. All right, here's Bronze on a Royal. One of the best starters, the best pitchers of all time in our rotation. Oh, sorry, I missed the player by accident. Mark Bellhorn, totally remember him. In fact, I actually have a card of Mark Bellhorn. I actually have a lot of, I actually have a lot of cards of of the Red Sox players. I have, I have a lot of them. I'll show them off at some point. Who's the next player? Oh yeah, Ramiro Mendoza. Hmm. Interesting name, but I've never heard of him. Oh, here's a fun fact I'd never known until now. Ramiro Mendoza has played on four World Series winning teams. He played he played in three with the Yankees in 1996, 1998, and 1999. And then he was with the Red Sox in 2004. Edwin Almonte. Frank Brooks. Jamie Brown. Lenny Donardo. Andy Dominique. Something I didn't notice till now, but his his signature right there looks like it says 100 on it, which is pretty cool. Okay, who else do we have? Jerome Gamble. Which a fun fact in 2002 he rebounded from Tommy John surgery with a 1.82 ERA. In 14 starts. Reynaldo Garcia. Which he was a member of the Rangers opening day roster in 2003. Okay, here's a player. Here's another player I've never heard of. Tim Hamillack. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I just never heard of him. In fact... In fact, I don't really remember that many players in, like, when I first watched the Red Sox. In fact, I didn't really remember, I didn't really start remembering all the players until 2007. That was the first year I started to remember all the players. Whereas, before 2007, I didn't really, I only remembered some of them, which Big Poppy's one of them. In fact, um, most of the World Series guys, most of our 2004 World Series players, I definitely remember. So who's the next one? Brian Hebson. Or Brian Hebson, sorry. I, I said Head Henson, but it's Hebson. <laughs> sorry about that. Another player I don't remember. In fact, I believe these next couple I'm not really going to remember. Mark Belaska. I've heard of that name. I've heard of that name, but I don't remember the player himself. Okay. Anastasio Martinez. I've I've definitely heard of him. Phil Siebel, Sable, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. All right, Jason Scheel. 
I definitely remember him, I will tell you that. He's one of the few minor leaguers I remember from the 2000s. I don't really remember much of them. Here we are, Kevin Euclid. I definitely remember him, hands down. In fact, um, Euclid first came to the Red Sox in 2004. That was when he first played for us, 2004. He was definitely one of the best players we had. All right. It's all the players, but we have a seeing red section. Red Sox players supported a new look during batting practice and select home games in 2003. Red jerseys and red socks. Which is definitely the appropriate... Red Sox are definitely the appropriate color because they are called the Red Sox after all. Just going to show these pictures. You can pause and take a look. Boston Rocks. And here comes the section we have the non roster and the T's. Which first one is Jeff Bailey, which I remember him. She's right here. Caesar Crespo, I do not remember him. Uh, who else? Got Brian Dalback, I remember him. And then Adam Hisdu, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's because I, I don't remember him, so I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But I remember Brian Dalback and um, Jeff Baylor. Got Bobby Jones and David McCarthy. Jesus Madrano and Jeremy Owens. Okay, what else do we have? Paul Rigdon and Kelly Shopik. Kelly Shopik, I definitely remember. He was in our minor league for a while, and I believe he played. I got, I got, I got to look up Kelly Shopik because I got to look up who, what teams he played for because I remember he was on the Rays and the Red Sox, which he came back to the Red Sox in 2012. I definitely remember him. Okay, so Kelly Shopik, he played on... He played for the Red Sox twice. He played on the Red Sox in both 2005 and 2012. And I definitely remember him. He was on the Cleveland Indians, I know that. And then he was also on the Rays, the Mets, and the Mariners. And he was, and he played for Cleveland twi and the Red Sox twice. So yeah, so I definitely remember him really well. He was a catcher. Terry Schumpert and Tony Womack. And then we got Ed Yarnell. Now we're on to the Sox on the Rise. We've got Abel, Abel Alvarez, Juan Cedino. I've never heard of those two. I've definitely heard. I definitely remember Manny Delkerman and John Lester, which um, John John Lester he just, he retired last year after 16 seasons. Yeah, John Lester played 16 seasons in the MLB, and he retired last year. He was on the Red Sox, then the Athletics, then the Cubs, um, then the Cardinals, then the Nationals. Which he was on the Red Sox from 2006 to 2014. He went to the Athletics in 2014, then he was on the Cubs from 2015 to 2020, and then last year he was on both the Nationals and the Cardinals. So yeah, I definitely remember him and Manny Delkerman pretty well. Got Dave Murphy, Matt Merton, Hanley Ramirez, I definitely remember him. He played for the Red Sox twice. He only, he only and it's the first time he played on the Red Sox, he only played in 2005. Then he came back in 2005. 15. 
and and I think he played for about two or three seasons. So yeah, he only played for a few. Let me think. When did he play? I'm trying to remember. I believe I gotta Google search what year Hanley Ramirez came back to us, because I believe he came back to us in 2015. Okay, hand. Sorry, I gotta set my camera down because I can't, I can't I can't use my phone one hand with one hand. Okay, Hanley Ramirez. Okay. All right, so Hanley Ramirez. Let's see where he was. Okay. Okay, now I remember. Hanley Ramirez first played on the Red Sox in 2005. Then he came back in 2015. And he was on the Red Sox until 2018. He also played on the uh, Marlins, the Dodgers, and the Cleveland Indians, who are now the Guardians. Okay, we got Chad Spann. That's the next one. Never heard of him. But I've definitely heard of Hanley Ramirez. I'll tell you that. All right, so... Let me think. I'm trying to figure out what to say. Okay. Since we're past the 20 minute mark, um, I will end my video here. We will we will start where we've left off, which is on the farm stats for part two of the video. Since my video is going to jump into, will automatically jump into part two any minute since that's what my camera does. So that's why I'm going to end it here. So we'll take off where we left off, which is the farm stats for the next video. I will end my video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.